Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about how you can use your smartphone as a webcam on your computer for your live streaming, for your Zoom calls, Skype calls and so on and also have the flashlight open so you can improve your lighting. Alright guys, so let's get started. I'm gonna tell you first of all what we're gonna need for this setup. First of all, we're gonna need the smartphone, doesn't matter which smartphone, I'm using here the Samsung S9 Plus, uh, which have a actually very good camera, but any smartphone with a camera will do the work. It doesn't matter if it's Android or iOS, right? So we're gonna need the smartphone, we're gonna need the USB charging cable because we're gonna connect the smartphone with the PC, and also uh, if you have a small tripod and thing, and a thing like that to put the phone, you actually can use it pretty nice to make this setup works even better because I'm gonna put the camera, the smartphone here I'm gonna put it in front of me so I can recall myself from a nice height and a nice distance Alright, and right now we're gonna jump to our computer, we're gonna open a browser and we're gonna go to arion.com This is the name of this application that we need to download in order to make this work Okay, so we're gonna go to arion.com Very good, and you can see that you can download uh, for Windows, for Mac, even for Ubuntu. So uh, here I'm using Windows. I'm gonna download webcam for Windows. Once it download, you open it, you install it, you just follow the procedure. Very good, install. It's actually very fast and very easy to use. I'm gonna show you in just a moment. And of course, this is for free. Once we install it, Iron Webcam turns your phone into wireless camera, web camera, Use your mobile camera in your PC or Mac. Now I say no phone available. So right now we need to go to our application store on our phone or our smartphone, doesn't matter if it's Android or iPhone as I said, and find Ariun uh, 4K webcam for PC and Android, is this application here, and install it. Have one million downloads already. Very good. We install everything. And we can open the application. We follow the we accept the terms here. Um, we allow webcam to take picture and record video. And we allow our webcam to record our audio. Very good. Oh, all right, and it already it works. You can see on the screen uh, that I'm taping myself with my phone. Here it is. It's already working. I can see on my screen myself. So this is how this works, all right? I'm ready, I can put it on my tripod if I want. Here we go. Here we go, I can put here on my tripod and have my setup ready to record me. Very good. So our smartphone is ready for the setup, it's already uh, can capture everything that we can put to record. So let's jump to a Zoom a meeting. And uh, by the way, that's why I asked that you need this cable here, the USB charging cable. You can connect it to your PC so you don't have issue with your battery if your battery dies and so on. So I will connect it just in case. Very good. And so we can go to our settings over here to the zoom, go to the video and actually it's already uh, capturing this image coming from the smartphone. You can see Arion webcam. You can change that if it's not... Uh, find it automatically. Very good. And the same thing, we can do it with OBS or any other like Skype uh, application. So let's jump to OBS and I will show you how we can do it in OBS. Okay, so here we are, we jumped on OBS, I opened OBS which I'm recording my screen right now. And we're gonna add uh, a new a video capture device here. That's gonna be the phone. So I'm gonna put the name phone, let's say for example, okay. I need to find Irion webcam. So here we are, Irion webcam uh, resolution custom. Very good. FPS 30. Click, I choose what I want. And here it is. Here I'm recording uh, myself uh, in the OBS. Put fit to screen. So this is right now the setup I'm recording myself through the OBS, through my smartphone. I'm using the smartphone, of course I can move it. Here we are, this is actually very nice uh, setup because you can also move it. It's not like uh, going just inside, you can move it up and down and put, put it whenever, wherever you want and record 
and make your calls, your live stream and whatever you want uh, more portable because you can move it from one side to another. And right now let's put uh, this in a comparison with the, uh, my webcam because I like to compare things actually. So let's make it actually smaller and put the webcam. This is the webcam from my uh, computer, from my laptop, which is actually not bad, but you can see, I think there is a actually good difference, right? So let me close this display here. We can compare here approximately, right? We can see how it is, how it's going. Uh, yeah, you can see the difference with the cameras, which is better, what you think? Which is better? I think the phone is a little bit better, like quality. Of course, I can put it more close to me if I want, make it more up or even have it. If I have a better tripod, I can put in front of me where is the webcam. So for example, here, here, it's actually good comparison. So you can see how much better the image from the phone is and how much better you can improve your live calls, your streaming and so on. Cool. Another very interesting thing that you actually could use if you're using OBS for your live stream or your recordings is to put the microphone to be from your smartphone and not for your computer, for example. Okay, right now you're hearing the voice from my DSLR and the Rode Micro that I have on top, but you could, I could record also, like I'm recording right now, the screen of my laptop. I could record the uh, voice from uh, this microphone of my phone. So I'm gonna put the settings here on the OBS. Let's go to audio and microphone. We can put Arion webcam. Is the Arion the application we have? We will put we put the Arion webcam. We apply. Okay, and then I just checked the sound, the microphone that's recording from the phone, and actually it's not great, guys. Comparing to the Rode uh, Micro here on the DSLR, it's it's day with night, right? So let's jump to from this microphone from Rode Video Micro that I'm recording from my DSLR to our smartphone microphone right now, and you can hear the difference. Uh, I know that it's a very bad quality, maybe sometimes it's stacking, but this is what you get, okay? With this connection, with this setup, this is what you get. Of course, the comparing it, uh, this smartphone microphone with this uh, setup, we cannot compare it with the separate external microphone from the Rode Video Micro. This is not fair because it's a whole microphone standing there. So this is what you get. It's maybe it's decent, maybe it's not. Uh, before when I heard some recordings, it was not good. So it's better. It will be more fair to compare it maybe with the internal internal microphone that I have on my laptop. Okay. So let's jump right now to record with the internal microphone of my laptop. Right. And now you can hear me from the internal microphone of my uh, PC of the laptop with the webcam recording me on the left side. So you can see how the image and how the audio sounds from my webcam and from the audio from my PC without using any external, any smartphones, anything. This is how it sounds. And as I check the uh, recordings from before, from the smartphone, the audio is not very good, not uh, very good usable actually if you want to do something more serious. Um, so let's jump back to the smartphone and see again how it sounds. Let's go now. All right, and right now you hear it from back from the smartphone, from the internal microphone of the smartphone with a smartphone capturing this image here that you're watching. Uh, this is what you get. Comparing actually to the internal microphone of the PC, it's kind of better the sound. The image sometimes it's stacking as I show. Uh, of course, you can also open, as we said here, uh, the flashlight. So here it is, the flashlight, guys. Okay, very good. I opened the flashlight. Maybe it's improving, maybe not. Actually, let's check it. Where is the button? The button is here. Let's see. Up, close one, open one. Yes, and right now you're watching. Do you see that logo here, guys? This is, I hope it's not a break dealer for you guys. Uh, actually, it is. <laughs> Nobody wants to have a, another logo uh, things on his uh, live stream, right? So this is something that I noticed before and I didn't like it myself. So this is what you get. This is for free guys. So a small shout out to this Arion.com is not a big deal for some people, for others, if you want to do it more professionally, of course it is. How you could fix that? 
how you could fix it I will show you right now you could just uh, let me actually make this smaller so you could see so let's say you have your screen here and the logo coming around here right so I can click uh, hold alt and click the button to make this to cut it actually so I'm ju I just cut this right so you can use the middle of the middle you can use this part of the image and cut the other part here that was the log coming up this is how you could fix it if you want if you like this kind of setup right so this is the voice again from the smartphone coming from the smartphone the other good thing about this about this setup guys is that i can move it actually so i can take it with me i can even to take it out of the cable right and it's still recording it's still recording so i can show you around if if i have a some kind of live stream that i want to show something i want to show maybe my pc or maybe some standing in the room so i can get up let's say for example go around show you my camera here right you can see my camera this is how i'm recording the whole uh, video today this is the camera i have some kind of lighting here right some notes here <laughs> so i don't forget something Right, so this is how I'm recording, and I can show you with this kind of setup, this with this Arion.com web page, uh, web page, and the application that we downloaded. All right, guys, so this is how you connect your smartphone with your PC and use it like a web camera. Very easy way, and of course for free. So if you like this kind of videos, guys, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get notified. And in the next videos, we're gonna do more videos about live streaming and how you connect your smartphone with another application and your DSLR for live streaming and use like a web camera. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, like the video, and see you in the next one.